Good morning. This is Beth Bricklove, Life Insurance Sales Director here at IMS. Um, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, today we have um, Corey Martin um, with Sagicor to speak with us about their product lineup and specifically their accelerated underwriting process. Um, we will get to that in just a minute. Um, beforehand, I'm just going to give a brief overview of IMS. We've got um, of course, agents that are contracted with us on the phone, those um, that are not contracted with us, uh, just um, to give you some information here. So um, the most important part about what I'm gonna share about IMS is we are here to make you, here to be a partner with you and help make you more money. If you're making more money, we are making more money and it's a win-win situation. So we have several different opportunities um, in the design from IMS to do that. Um, to start off with, we would um, talk about our new producer um, builder program. So if you're a brand new producer with us, we want to get you started and going as quickly as possible. And um, to make that a win-win for everyone, what we have done is this new producer builder program, which is um, certain production um, production um, growth um, levels that we are wanting um, hopefully to hit in the first six months. So 100,000 of annuity production or 10,000 of life insurance um, production is going to you know, offer cash incentives, iPad, all the way up to a million or 100,000 um, dollar level with life insurance, um, different ways that we can add to your business. Uh, we also um, want to encourage our existing um, producers, and our business is no different than yours, and that referrals are um, the best agents that we can um, obtain is somebody that you recommend to us. So we do have a referral bonus, which is a $50 one-time bonus. But in addition to that, every piece of business that the agent writes that you refer to us, you're going to be getting a little bit of a commission off of that. Now, that's not out of their pocket. That's out of IMS pocket, and we take care of all of that internally um, as far as what, you, what you're making off of their production. I know I have a few agents that, that use this little extra bit of money um, for incidental things like different marketing programs that they may want to try and so forth. So it's just a nice little additional pot of money um, for uh, referring agents to us. Um, we also do marketing reimbursement and marketing reimbursement is going to be broken down into three different areas. $100 of marketing reimbursement for every 100000 of annuity um, premium. We also do 200 for every 100000 of SBLI, or, or single premium life, and then 200 per 10000 um, of target life insurance. Um, if you use one of our marketing programs, they actually will double that. So anything that is IMS related in marketing, that's going to um, double that. So that hundred dollars of marketing reimbursement actually becomes a value of two hundred. Um, we are set up to be your back office support, and that is on all levels from building a case, um, case designs, um, having um, forms at your fingertips, whether that's through our website or contacting a marketing director to make sure that you have all the correct forms. Um, we have submission to commission um, support. So, um, and I guess I would extend that to case design, submitting it to new business, getting it paid as quickly as possible through our follow-up process. And then obviously we need to get the um, uh, business paid. Um, that's a win-win for us as well, the quicker we can get things through the pipeline and have commission um, paid, we're all um, going to benefit from that. Um, all of our life insurance and annuity directors um, clearly do a life and annuity quotes. You also have access to quotes on our website, however, um, you know, whatever your comfort level is with that. Um, again, we have our top sales expertise with all of our sales directors and coaching. And then um, we use um, Assurance Bay for their paperless contracting, which is a super quick and efficient way to get licensed with all the carriers that we represent. Um, 
COVID changed the way life insurance and annuity business was done. You know, we had to make quick transitions on how were we going to submit business without meeting um, with our clients face to face. And I think when we ever, whenever we have a, a tragedy or um, something that is adversity with doing business, there are good things that come out of that. And one good thing for sure is the ability to do business digitally. So we have two different platforms of doing e-applications. Um, Firelight is one of them. Uh, those are going to be directed more towards annuity carriers. Um, Firelight is a um, application that is on our um, IMS Inc. website for you to submit business. Um, what we found is submitting business through a digital um, platform such as uh, such as this causes or helps um, alleviate a lot of mistakes that are happen happen on an application, which you know in the long run makes it the business go through quicker um, and less time. Um, correcting mistakes and so forth. In addition to Firelight, we use a platform called eApp or iGo eApp, um, which uh, most of our life insurance carriers on, are on. Again, you would find um, Firelight and eApp on the IMS website. Um, there's another digital um, platform specifically for Anico that would be on IMS website as well. Uh, we have our creative marketing solutions team, um, some of the best in the industry with anything that you can think about marketing. One thing that I would encourage is if you have never um, done one of our marketing analysis um, with one of your sales director, I would highly encourage that. That takes a um, microscope um, look at all the different things that you're already doing in your business for marketing, and then um, gives recommendations on things to um, to maybe implement and timelines to implement them to make things make your goals um, change um, based on that marketing analysis. Um, we also have our IMS website, which I've kind of indicated a few times in this conversation, but. Um, one thing that I love is if you go to the support and sales resource library, you could spend hours reading through different presentations, um, calculators, uh, just a lot of great information in there. Uh, you're also able to do um, term quotes. And in addition to the term quotes, you can do guaranteed universal life quotes. Um, the, the website is 24 seven. You do have access to forms on our website. Um, for easy access, you can always ask one of the sales directors also to send forms if you are needing them. Um, so do take the, it's we do have a lot of great resources on the website. So if you haven't signed up for it before, you just need to go to imsinc.com and register your email, and then you would have access to IMS. Um, we do a couple of different um, sales tools for helping um, assist in annuity and life insurance sales. One of them is the retirement analyzer. Um, the best way I can describe this is obviously we're helping um, people save and have a nest egg for retirement. Um, the retirement analyzer, what it does is it helps um, see if mathematically what they're doing for savings for retirement if it works out. Um, all kinds of different assumptions and things that can be made to determine what does that nest egg, um, how does it last um, over the years and, and so forth. So if you have any questions about that, just ask one of the um, directors here. Um, in addition to that, we don't have a slide here, but one that's related to Index Universal Life is we offer the Stonewood um, illustrations too. Um, that's a great way to simplify an uh, Index Universal Life sale. Uh, so if you have any questions about that, please ask one of the life insurance sales directors. And finally, we've got IMS Wealth Management. So I don't know if you've ever considered or maybe you already are managing wealth. Um, but we have a full service wealth management team here, um, and that goes from somebody experienced with that um, 
piece of the business as well as somebody that's wanting to get into the business and maybe needing help with their Series 65. Um, if you have any questions about that, please give us a call at IMS and we can get you to the right person to talk about IMS Wealth Management. Um, this year has been lucky for us since we've kind of come out of that curve of um, COVID, you know, the last couple of years, we haven't had a lot of face-to-face -face opportunities with producers. This year, um, we have done several, or and we have several in the works for life and annuity cat academies. Um, we held our first one in March. Um, we had one in April. Um, one is um, scheduled, or we had that one this month. I believe there is one scheduled in June too. So that is a great opportunity. If you have any questions about the schedule or would like to get invited to a Life and Annuity Academy, um, please let us know. Um, and then of course, we've got Green Buyer, uh, which is our, uh, our trip incentive. Um, there's still time to qualify for that event. Um, we've got up till uh, up to uh, June 30th, um, 2022. If you have any questions about that contest, um, please let one of us know. Um, and if you have any questions about where you maybe you are point wise um, for qualifying for that, please let us know as well. Um, as always, um, make sure to follow us on Facebook and LinkedIn, all kinds of articles and um, up-to-date things that we post on those two platforms. So, and with that, I am going to switch this over to Corey. Awesome. Great. Thanks so much, Beth, for having, having, uh, having us this morning. My name is Corey Martin. I'm the Regional Sales Manager for Sagicor Life Insurance Company. I'm based in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, my internal sales specialist and um, the the team that I work with, Chris Veal, is located out of Oklahoma City. Uh, we're all in the remote mode um, as uh, as as COVID has presented numerous opportunities for all of us to work differently and be different in our own practices. What I'd like to share with you today, and, and again, Beth, thank you for giving us the, the platform to come and share what is uh, what we're doing with our teams in the field. Um, specifically, what I'd like to talk through is our accelerated underwriting process that we call Accelerating. It's not often that life insurance companies are looking to speed the uh, uh, submission to commission process, but that's what Sagipore has done in the marketplace, and we'll talk through specifically what this process looks like, how to best have success with it, uh, what products that we offer specifically in the market that are um, attributable to your clientele, where those products are useful, where we're seeing success with them, and certainly some sales ideas and uh, some, some things that we'll offer you that uh, will help you get off to a fast start with uh, with Sagicor if you choose to do business with us, which I certainly hope you will give us the opportunity to earn your business. So when we talk about keys to success, I think it's important to understand what accelerating is and, and accelerated underwriting, what we call accelerating, is is really a an automated platform, an automated underwriting system. And this is not something new to Sagicor. So um, in 2020, life changed for all of us as we know, and many companies since 2020 have been scrambling to uh, understand how the accelerated underwriting platforms are gonna work. What does our system look like? What does, you know, what are we gonna do? Well, what Sagicor did specifically, we've been in, uh, U.S. distribution for about 10 years now. When we came to the U.S. and opened up our U.S. distribution, there were two things that we decided to do to, to, do, to become relevant in the marketplace and to be understood as a, as a life insurance carrier. One of the things that we do, um, if you're familiar with Sagicor at all, our three and five-year MIGA rates, our multi-year guarantee rates, are very attractive for A-rated companies. So on the annuity side, that is where we've gotten a lot of traction, a lot of market uh, accessibility, and a lot of visibility from the agents and, and uh, 
marketing partners that we do business with. Now on the life insurance side, what we did specifically is we we decided early on to figure out a way to sub, really to get to, to speed uh, the underwriting process, which basically accelerates the um, opportunity for you to get your life insurance cases issued quicker. Who doesn't want to get paid quicker? And and that was kind of the 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 development of accelerating was based on that. So knowing that what we did was built this automated underwriting system 10 years ago mind you that was really detailed from submission to commission that was what we paid attention to is how we could get our agents and advisors paid quicker so with this system basically you can submit an application online digitally which goes this application goes through a series of filters that basically gather the information that any underwriter is going to is going to need now most underwriters will tell you we can make good decisions with good information so if you're doing business electronically in essence doing business virtually how do we get the detail that we need well what we do is not only get the detail that we need but we do it without exams we do it without fluid gathering. We do it without telephone interviews. And and believe me, I've been in the business long enough, nearly 26 years now, to see that telephone interviews can be a, 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 a daunting process for any client and any agent for that matter. So no face-to-face -face interviews are required. Now, again, we're, we're somewhat back to normal. If you want to do business face-to-face, -face, hey, do that and this process also allows itself to do business that way but if you prefer virtual if your clients prefer virtual even better we will provide each of you on the call today with uh, the top 20 e-app tips for quicker processing that is a piece that uh, chris veal my partner has uh, put together that is pretty that is extremely detailed each of those 20 steps will include information on how to get you paid even quicker with Sagicorp. Nine knockout questions that will determine your client if it is a, process, is a prospect for this process. It's not simplified issue. So accelerated underwriting is not a simplified issue process. It is a simplified underwriting process, which is very different. And we'll explain that a little bit in detail as we move along. And again, with all in the, in the the mind frame of reducing cycle times or what we call submission to commission. And again, what's unique about Sagipore is that all of our underwriting classes are available from super preferred all the way down the line. So the advantages of doing business this way, again, as, as we've already discussed, the fact that, you know what, if you don't wanna do business face-to-face -face or you have a client that doesn't wanna do business that way, or perhaps you got a referral from across state lines. You're, you're, in, you're licensed in state A, uh, your clients in state B, you can be non-resident licensed in state B and conduct, tell, conduct business that way virtually. E-applications and e-delivery are now a, a part of our underwriting process and, and delivery process. And again, just, no paramedics are going to be required if you use this part of our process. No telephone interviews, which again is a big factor in making sure that we get the detail that we need, but not put you in a bad situation. Once you hit enter on an accelerated underwriting process e-app from Sagicor, you have the opportunity to get a decision on that on that case within minutes. And again, larger face amounts a million dollars up to age 50 on our Sage IUL, which we'll talk a little bit about uh, here in just a second, but up to age 65 at half a million dollars of death benefits. So there's a lot of bandwidth here. You can be very creative in how you go to market and how you show our Sage IUL, which we're gonna show you some very unique uh, sales ideas that you can take and use today if you choose. Don't forget us as well from a fully underwritten standpoint, above accelerating limits, up to age 85, up to a preferred plus underwriting class. We are starting to get more and more applications, electronic applications, 
where we can do business the old fashioned way for face amounts above what our accelerated underwriting limits are. So again, the advantage, just to recap, no telephone interview ever. We're not gonna put you in that situation. No paramed exams, that's not how this was designed. Again, submission to commission, no paramed exams required, so no need to wait on a, uh, a field exam. And then the underwriting decision opportunity for as quick as two minutes. If each of the filters that we use comes back clean and we'll talk about the maximizing the, the success and how this process works. So what products are eligible? If you, if you do business with Sagicor, what products can you expect to be on this, on this platform? Well, basically everything that we sell, we are a permanent life insurance carrier. I don't have a term product, but we offer very attractive index universal, traditional whole life, a single premium solution we call wealth care, which is very unique in the marketplace, but everything that we offer will give you the, the opportunity when you work with your clients to increase your submission to commission opportunities and, and speed, that, uh, speed that to issue. So how does it work? You can, as Beth had mentioned, iGo, iPipeline is, uh, is the primary way that we do business. Um, you can do that through our portal. You can do that with IMS directly. Um, so whatever, whatever logistical process that you use, you can get access to Sagicor in that way. Once you submit an electronic application to Sagicor, here's what happens. That application will go through a series of filters. Script check, MIB, M MBR, ID verify is an important one. Most companies are using some type of ID verification process. It's just the process of, of how do we how do we in a virtual setting, how do I know who you say you are? And that's how we what we use ID verify for. We recommend that you uh, take the driver's license addresses of the clients that you're doing business with and utilize that because that is typically what you'll find in ID verify. So. That's, that's one that typically, if somebody's changed addresses within the last six months, um, that, that sometimes can be an issue, but that's, uh, that's what we recommend is use that driver's license address. We also use LexisNexis to, to make sure that uh, this, um, uh, that basically just gives us a snapshot of a, 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 it's almost a credit score from the standpoint of premium paying ability, um, Persist, it gives us a good idea of persistency as well. Um, a lot of property and casualty companies use LexisNexis as their platform, and that's what we use as well. So again, just to reiterate, does not have to be a face-to-face -face process. However, you can sit with your client and uh, use a tablet or use your laptop to e-sign in person. You can do business virtually over telephone, Zoom calls, a number of our agents and advisors are extremely creative in how they do this business, uh, and we embrace all of that. And then credit card payments for initial premium can be submitted as well. So the LexisNexis risk classifier, if you're not familiar with that, here's a little snapshot of what that is and how it can affect the outcome. Uh, we don't see too many of these come through, and it's just a, it's an ancillary piece of the pie that gives us a, a, a real good real-time snapshot of, of risk in general and premium, premium paying ability specifically. So what are we seeing for opportunities and trends? So let's just get into some of the meat and potatoes here of, of this is not me talking now, this is, this is detail that we're getting from LIMRA. As we all know, COVID again has changed the, the, has changed the game for all of us. But the real fact of the matter is, is that 7.6 million consumers that LIMRA um, quizzed about what would be very or extremely appealing in a life insurance setting, what are the primary drivers of you saying yes or no? Well, speed and ease, certainly number one. Avoiding medical exams, avoiding, again, we're all busy, we're all 100 miles an hour with our hair on fire. 
uh, avoiding medical exams, blood and urine samples, no need to see a doctor and no face-to-face -face conversation. So again, this conversation right here plays right into the hands of making sure that you're doing business with somebody who's technologically advanced, a company who is working hard to decrease the time from submission to commission. And then in general, half of consumers, half, half of the buying public would buy, would be somewhat or much more likely to buy if you could show me a simplified process. So clients are out there, prospects are out there looking for a process like Accelerite. So statistically, what we found is, and this, these are details from iPipeline. This, this comes directly from automated systems that are being used across the industry. And this is out of 29 carriers that were spreadsheeted and utilized uh, through iPipeline, Sagicor fell in at number seven. Well, hey, you know, great, Corey, you're number seven. Well, you get a participation award. Um, what's important to know about being number seven the six companies that are above Sagicor are all simplified issue products. In other words, they're blended classifications. They're built for simplified issue. Think any company that you think about when you think about traditionally underwritten or easy underwriting, simplified issue. Sagicor is number one in the cell for traditional products. So the, to the, to the six companies that are above us, Again, our simplified issue companies. We are traditionally underwritten. We are number one in the cell, 16.8 days from submission of an application to the time you get paid. That is speedy. That is quick, especially in an industry average that's almost 33 days. So truly, if you want to look at an opportunity to get your clients' policies quicker, get paid quicker, Sagicor should be on your list of companies to look through. So let's just talk through right now, let's just get into some, some meat and potatoes of, of what the products look like, um, some sales ideas and concepts that will be important for you and your clients as we move along. So our Index Universal Life, if you wanna take advantage of our accelerated underwriting process, million dollar death benefit up to age 50, half a million dollars up to age 65, uh, e-application and e-delivery, um, on our accelerated underwriting platform. Now, if you if you decide that you want to take your client in a different direction, larger face amount, uh, we're very attractive in a couple of different scenarios that I'm going to share with you here in just a bit. But we will take that business 66 to 85, over 100,000 up to no maximum as a traditionally underwritten product. My head life underwriter is an ex mass mutual agent or ex mass mutual underwriter. He is very knowledgeable in the space. We can we can handle whatever you've got. All traditionally underwritten in each of the available underwriting classes that you see here. So again, a lot of bandwidth and a lot of opportunity for you and your clients. So Sage IUL in a snapshot issued up to age 85. Underwriting classes, again, we are underwriting class specific, which again separates us as number one in the traditionally underwritten class as far as underwriting classes availability, but speed to issue. Credit and interest rate bonus of 75 bips, which is contractual. What you will find about Sage IUL, there's not a lot of moving parts. No bonus, no uh, non-guaranteed bonuses, no multipliers, no drag on the policy. It's Traditionally, it is truly built for strong accumulation. So all the things you want, over loan protection, interest crediting options, fixed options, variable loan options. So availability of cash to your client, you can, you can structure in a number of different ways. And then secondary guarantees of five or 10 years, depending on the, how the policy is issued. So our crediting strategies, and we're getting ready to announce uh, some, in, some uh, additional crediting strategies on top of our S&P, which is our, our baseline index. 
uh, as well as our global multi-index strategy, which is more global in nature. If you want global diversification, you can get it immediately with our GMI index. Uh, we will also be announcing some additional interest rate, interest crediting strategies, some uh, indexing strategies and ETF strategies moving forward that we'll be announcing uh, within the next couple of months. So we're very excited about that opportunity to help your clients grow. So Sage IUL, specifically from what, where are the prospects? Where are the people? How do you help? How can we help you? How can IMS help you find the money to fund these solutions for you and your clients? Who should you be thinking about in your practice? Clients who can't contribute to tax deductible IRAs or Roth, and Roth IRAs. Roth IRAs are extremely popular, but again, there are, there are boundaries, there are bumpers, there are uh, barriers to entry, such as income, for example. Um, think business owners, think business owners who don't have a retirement plan. Think key man insurance, think, you know what, do I have a buy-sell agreement in place and how could that be properly funded? Clients who want living benefits, a lot, of, a lot of people are 1035 exchanging older policies for people who are still healthy and who are still insurable because they want those chronic and living benefits and, and how do those work? And then certainly clients who want downside protection with upside potential. And, and, and again, we, they are out there, there is money out there to be had, the, to be shared with clients. There's ideas that we're gonna share with you today. Uh, certainly RMDs are always an opportunity for us to fund legacies uh, and beneficiaries with tax-free income. So those are just some of the, the thoughts of who's out there and who should I be thinking about. This is a, the, this slide right here is also available on our website as a matter of fact, and I'll share with you some, some detail on how to open some of these conversations with your clients when we're talking about not only permanent life insurance, but single premium life insurance as well, which, which we do offer a solution we call WealthCare, and we'll talk about it. So basically, clients will, will hold their money in three tax buckets. And opening a conversation with Mr. and Mrs. Prospect, Mr. and Mrs. Client, can we look at, the, look at your savings through the filter, through the lens of taxation? Uh, literally, you can sit down with somebody and talk about taxable or tax now, tax deferred and tax free, and educate and find the money that your clients are holding in each of these separate tax buckets as, a, as, a, as an opportunity to find out if they're using tax advantages, if they're using strategies moving, along, moving forward that benefit them now and in the future, and certainly their heirs now and in the future. So this slide right here can help generate a lot of opportunity and create conversations with your clients about what they're doing with their money now that can be beneficial um, in other ways. And certainly the, the, what we're talking about here is how much of that money is being held in that tax-free bucket. I can tell you from a, a large, high degree of experience of working in the field and working with agents and advisors, that tax-free bucket, there is opportunity with everyone that you'll talk to about how to, how to move some of those taxable and tax-deferred dollars into that tax-free bucket. So tax diversification with, with Sage IUL, what, what does that look like? Well, Tax deferred interest crediting strategies, certainly. Distributions can be taken anytime that you want, anytime that your clients need access to those funds, they're available. No income ceilings or contribution limits, which again is a, uh, a popular concept of showing IUL as a Roth. Uh, I've, I've heard one advisor talk about IUL as a Roth on steroids, because again, there's, there's no income no income ceilings or contribution limits that you that uh, you run into with Roths. No 10% penalty for early, early withdrawal, early retirement distributions. None of the, again, traditional barriers to entry that we find with other uh, sponsored 401ks, for example. So when we talk about 
where does Sagipor specifically fit in the marketplace? It's it's there's a lot of choice out here in the in the IUL space. What we suggest is you know what stress test those policies now so you and your clients don't stress later. I think everybody can get into a uh, in, into a scenario where they're looking to provide maximum yield, and there are a lot of questions and and hey is this is there drag on this policy? Is there drag on this policy? Is there a multiplier on this? A lot of times simplicity sells. So what we suggest is take a, a stress test look, and this is a piece that's also available on our website. Stress test now so you don't stress later. If you sell an IUL as a LERP, for example, a, 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 a life insurance retirement income vehicle, where you're looking at life insurance as an alternative distribution source, as an alternative income strategy, a tax-free income strategy. If you sell that way, take a look at where Sagicor fits in the marketplace. And you're talking, you know, some some pretty blue collar or you know, some some pretty uh, uh, blue chip companies here that are very um, understandable, very accessible. But again, Sagicor fits out right on top. If you if you strip down to the bare necessities of showing everybody at the same interest rate level, you're going to see that 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 Sagicor really does fit the bill. So give us an opportunity the next time that you're looking at an income distribution scenario where you're showing your client the benefit of tax-free income as a supplement in the future. So when it comes to IUL, what's important to know is that lots of carriers differentiate themselves between, well, my, my product is an accumulation vehicle, well, my product is a protection vehicle. And there are some good alternatives when we talk about how to sell traditional IUL. Uh, there's also protection IULs that do a really, really nice job with secondary guarantees. So what I suggest, is we get a lot of a lot of people that we work with that that uh, um, for example in this particular case we had a 45 male preferred non-tobacco that was interested in a 30-year term for half a million dollars. Well, the, the again, hey, that's that's terrific, and we'll provide that illustration. We'll provide that quote. Um, this particular illustration again was just was we we pulled an A-rated carrier. Uh, from a uh, very common uh, term search engine and came up with a $1,200 annual premium for a 30-year term. That, that's what we considered the good of the good, better, best sales idea. So what we've come to find using our Sage IUL as a solve instrument, so we went to WinFlex, which again is just a, another uh, online engine where we can compare IUL strategies use what you choose to use and, and uh, use your partners at IMS to uh, to help generate these. But what we did is we took a our Sage IUL with a cash surrender value of $1 at age 100. So basically a term to age 100. We used that strategy and chose and showed uh, 4391 was just actually number one in the cell of 15 carriers that we spreadsheeted. So very competitively priced, but builds cash along the way. What we showed, that was the better option. The best option we showed was again, keeping the death benefit at a half a million dollars, showing an endowment at age 100, where the, uh, the face amount of 500,000 and the cash surrender value equals 500,000. It was just, um, not even $400, $350, or $30 a month more to make that policy endow at age 100. So you had significant cash value along the way that you can use it in however you see fit, buying cars, buying property, buying kids' educations, for example. Looking at this spreadsheet, that's pretty significant, the difference between $1,200 of annual premium and $4,700 of annual premium. That's, you're, you're looking at $3,500 of annual premium. Well, it's interesting and unique to know that the average 401k employee contributes 
$3,600 annually above the match. So why is it a challenge for, a, for an employee to contribute an additional $3,600 above the match? We always advise, and when I was in the field and, and I, was a, I was an advisor, we would suggest that take advantage of that max. But does it make sense to contribute over the max because you're deferring that tax dollar to some time in the future? So depending on, on what that employee's current situation is, it may be best to look at those, again, tax bucket strategies. Does this make sense moving forward? And perhaps that's $3,600 we could use to fill that tax-free bucket. So again, just a sales idea that you can use. Um, if you're out selling term insurance, this is an opportunity for you to upsell your clientele and educate them at the same time with an opportunity to use something more permanent as you move along. Also on our platform, you can use our Sage Whole Life. This is a product that I would, uh, I would, I would say looks best as an alternative to simplified issue traditional whole life. So if you're selling simplified issue whole life, think of um, our Sage whole life as an alternative to that in an individually underwritten style, up to $250,000 with no telephone interview, no paramed. If the client is above average health, we can put them in a traditional class preferred, standard, whatever the case might be, and your client is going to is going to derive more bang from their buck. Transitioning now into a very unique life insurance concept and a very unique life insurance product. I you know, again, I've been doing this a long time. I don't know too many agents and advisors that see themselves as single premium life producers. And that I think is a is a an idea, a mindset that is changing tremendously in our marketplace. So we're I'd just like to share some detail with you about what this product is in the space and what makes it unique, and then how you can pivot to it and why we feel like it's important for agents and advisors to be pivoting to this unique strategy. So Wealthcare is, again is designed as a single premium contract. So if you are, are identify a hundred thousand dollars that a client's got, let's say in a CD, we find a lot of CD money that is gathering dust that uh, people are pulling their money out of the marketplace here over the last year uh, with a lot of volatility. That is certainly something that uh, uh, pre-retirees and retirees are looking at. So if I've got a hundred thousand. I deposited that hundred thousand. Let's say that hundred thousand buys two hundred thousand dollars of death benefit. We underwrite this from our accelerated underwriting platform as net amount at risk, or the difference between the single premium and the death benefit. So in that case, a hundred thousand dollars would be the net amount at risk that we would underwrite. This product is an e-application only and e-delivery. What's different about WealthCare is we have priced it as a blended class. So your preferred underwriting class will actually be preferred to table four. So again, we've priced it in a way that makes it simple to sell, but also makes it simple from an underwriting perspective because it is built to accept some risk. So why WealthCare? What, what is different about this? What is important for me to know and my client? Where is this going to help me and my client moving forward? Well, certainly from an accelerated underwriting platform. We've built this on our accelerated underwriting platform. We issue it up to age 85 at a preferred class, so age 18 to 85. So there are a lot of prospects out here for this type of contract. What makes it unique? return a premium liquidity from day one again day one liquidity for a guaranteed return of premium again life happens so if your client deposits a hundred thousand a hundred thousand comes back if if life does happen lifetime guaranteed death benefits with upside crediting potential 
uh, credited interest rate bonus as well, beginning in year 11. So your floor is no longer zero at year 11, but 50 bips. Why we sell it? Guaranteed return of premium, accelerated death benefit for chronic and terminal conditions. That's the number one reason why we're positioning single premium life as a chronic benefit as well. So again, half a million dollars is the pool of money that's available if uh, chronic illness is triggered, which is traditionally, again, two of six ADLs, your traditional chronic or LTC type of benefit. Um, any of those that are triggered would trigger the chronic illness. And once, once on claim, always on claim, unless the client determines they don't want those or don't need those dollars any longer, so again, return to premium, crediting upside potential, which the chronic benefit is based on the death benefit. So we want to make sure that certainly grows over time. And then up to half a million dollars of chronic illness that's available on the back end. Had an advisor call this the, the uh, Swiss Army knife of financial services products. And we certainly see that in the money that we are, we have, that we're showing clients where to get access or where the money is. So one solution for multiple client needs, you've got crediting options here, um, declared rate, fixed rate strategies. You've got our S&P and global multi-index strategy as well for glo global diversification. What's interesting on this particular contract, since clients like the chronic illness benefit on the back end, they want to grow that death benefit over time. So if you've got a younger client that wants to um, grow those dollars over a period of time, you can buy up a cap and par strategy for a 1% asset charge. So those are not dollars coming out of their pocket, it's coming out of the cash value or the cash surrender value of the policy, which does not affect the return of premium. So you can buy up an 11% cap for our S&P strategy using our single premium solution. That, is, that accounts for about 75 cents on every dollar that comes in the door for this, that those folks wanna build that cash over time, they wanna build that death benefit over time, and that's certainly, that's certainly something that this policy allows for. So what Sagicor is seeing, what are we seeing when it comes to money in the marketplace there are trillions of dollars that are currently flowing out of the banking system into the banking system out of the marketplace with with volatility that that is a has always been a good thing for the insurance industry uh, more conservative products more uh, guaranteed solutions if you will um, the primary sources of funds that we're seeing for for developing wealthcare single premium life sales CDs, money market accounts, savings accounts, things. When people take money out of the market, where do they put it? They want it close to them. They want it, um, they want it in an instrument where they can, uh, they can account for yields. That's where those dollars are currently being held. A lot of that's in flux. People are looking, you know, what, what should I be doing with these dollars? What, what are alternatives that are available to me? Certainly old cash value life insurance policies, 1035 exchanges. If you have clients that have older um, uh, group policies, for example, where they're getting out of the workforce and the, the, that perhaps that group policy is available to move to an individual policy, um, but there is opportunity if those policies are aging and potentially if the cash value of those policies is going backwards. Or in a case that we just had recently, where a 64-year-old woman was offered the opportunity to pull her variable life contract from a group setting into an individual setting, but she was going to have to double her premium. As a pre-retiree, that's not always an option. So there is opportunity to take that 1035 exchange and exchange it into a single premium that won't require any additional premium over time. Think low yield, high, high fee instruments, bond funds, for example, um, financial windfalls and inheritance. If, if you have clients that 
Um, perhaps they're selling property that they no longer need or no longer want or buildings that they no longer need or no longer want. Um, where can you put that money in some type of guaranteed instrument that can uh, uh, help with generational wealth? And significant stock drop, the risking of their portfolios, something that would create leverage for what they want to leave to their heirs. So we all, we've all talked about the SECURE Act and what the 10-year distribution rule now creates as a challenge in the marketplace. And here's a sales idea that you can use for generational wealth and anybody that may be looking to pass on uh, not only generational wealth, but also the opportunity to create a fund of money for, again, back-end critical and chronic benefit. So if you've got non-spouse beneficiaries of inherited qualified our, uh, assets and IRAs, those, those uh, inherited accounts have to be liquidated within 10 years of the death of the original owner. The tax consequences can be immense. They, they, really, they really can be immense. And I know there's a lot of strategies floating around, but here's a single, a single premium strategy that we came across um, for having a, a situation where the beneficiary is in a higher tax bracket oftentimes. Uh, that can have, again, negative tax implications. So pre-SECURE Act, those non-spouse beneficiaries could stretch those distributions over their lifetime. Under the SECURE Act, again, it's, it's, it's uh, accelerated what we have to do uh, for a non-spouse beneficiary. That's, that, those, those funds have to be liquidated over a 10-year period, which, again, can increase the, the tax liability of that beneficiary significantly. So knowing that, if we've got a, a portion of our dollars that we can distribute, and in this particular case, we're looking at an IRA owner that uh, was potentially in a lower tax bracket than the beneficiary, they, have, they may have sufficient income, but a need for plan for care. There's not a lot of LTC strategies any longer from an individual perspective, but there is certainly a need for chronic illness. And when we talk about wealth care, I just want to share real quickly two numbers I think that will be very pertinent to, to keep in mind and, and certainly jot these down and use these, but 63 and 70. 63% of people that bought life insurance in 2021 identified wealth transfer as the number one reason why they did it. Knowing that, that's a huge number. That, I've never seen that number for wealth transfer above 30. So wealth transfers taking place, 70 is a number that the, the federal government came up with. 70% of people who are turning age 65 currently will have a need for some type of long-term care or chronic benefit over their lifespan. So knowing that, there are certainly, you'll want to make your clients aware of what strategies are available for wealth transfer and chronic benefits. So in this particular case, what we had was uh, Betty, a, a 72 year old uh, widow, Keith, her only son. She inherited her husband's half million dollar IRA. She has a pension that she collects and doesn't really need her RMD for income. Her need was chronic protection and she wanted to make sure that Keith was taken care of. Well, Keith's in a 32% tax bracket. So inheriting that IRA could present real tax risk for Keith. So what the suggestion from the advisor was in this particular instance was have Betty take $133,000 distribution, which netted her $100,000 from that IRA she used that $100,000 policy to buy a wealth care single premium IUL. The benefit was, again, guaranteed return of premium, guaranteed benefits, and chronic illness on the back end should, should Betty need that help. So again, we accomplished the wealth transfer aspect, we accomplished the chronic benefit aspect of this contract, and what's beautiful about the, the chronic benefit here, as you are talking about single premium solutions, is finding one that is a indemnity contract 
which ours is. These are benefits that are paid. There are no reimbursement of, uh, I don't need receipts. That money, we, we don't really care what that money is used for in the family. Use it for your benefit. So just as a summation, I know I've covered a lot in a, in a uh, we uh, want to keep, uh, uh, certainly want to be, be um, uh, aware of everyone's time and respectful of everyone's time, but uh, doing business with Sagicor, we pay commissions daily. This accelerated underwriting process we call accelerated underwriting, accelerating will reduce your overhead internally and help you get speed to, uh, speed to issue submission to commission being our primary uh, our primary focus iul permanent products in general think about these types of clients and these types of scenarios that you can utilize or help your clients use that money differently um, successful business owners individuals who want that guaranteed money or type some type of new type of life insurance and then finally Beth, and I'll leave you with this. If you want to share with your team, this is our micro marketing site that we've created. It is not password protected. If you like some of the sales ideas that we've shared with you today, certainly take advantage of this micro site. Um, complete marketing templates, which include email campaigns, customizable pieces, dovetails nicely with what our friends at IMS are doing as well. So, uh, again, utilize everything that's available to you. Chris and I will send our contact information along through Beth and let us know what we can do to help further your relationship and your relationship with your clients. Okay, Beth, thanks so much for your time. That's all yeah. I've got for you today. Thanks a lot, Corey. Very much appreciated. It was great material that you shared with us. Um, I have a couple of polling questions. Um, if uh, we've got time to ask those, um, I'll go ahead and launch the first one. Actually, it looks like that's not working for us. So um, sorry about that. Well, again, thank you all, all of you for attending the webinar. Um, have a great rest of your week and um, give any of your life insurance sales directors a call if you need more information on Sagicor.